Hello, and welcome to today's video presentation on disk partitioning with FDisk on Oracle Linux. Partitions are a method of dividing or partitioning a type of media known as a block device into smaller segments. Block devices can consist of floppy, USB, CD and DVD, IDE, SATA, and iSCSI disks. Some types of media are removable, while others always remain attached. The removable media is sometimes referred to as hot pluggable media because the media is removable while the system is running. In a modern Linux distro such as Oracle Linux, all of the block devices are loaded by the hot plug system, which uses a standard naming convention of slash dev slash sdx for the device. The X in the mentioned naming convention is a placeholder and represents a letter. The letter starts with A and increases through the alphabet based on the order the device is loaded. When preparing to partition a disk and make it usable, the first thing to consider is the partition table. The partition table holds information about the number of partitions, their start and end points, their size, and whether the partition is bootable. There are two different partition table types, MBR which stands for Master Boot Record and GPT which stands for GUID Partition Table. GPT is the newer standard. The MBR partition type is still prevalent and used for compatibility. The MBR stores partition information at the beginning of a disk and is limited to four primary partitions, each partition less than 2 terabyte in size. If you need more than four partitions with MBR, one of the primary partitions must get configured as extended partition with logical partitions inside it. The newer GPT partition type is replacing MBR and is associated with UEFI which replaces the older BIOS firmware bootloader. GPT gets its name because each partition has its own globally unique identifier, or GUID. GPT removes the limitations imposed by MBR, allowing for larger drives and unlimited number of partitions. The partition size limits and the number of partitions are practically unlimited and dependent on your operating system and chosen file system. Other features of GPT include where its data is stored and its use of cyclic redundancy check, CRC, to verify its information is intact. GPT saves multiple copies of the partition table information and boot data across the disk. By saving multiple copies, there's a backup in case of corruption. If a corruption occurs, GPT can detect the problem via CRC and recover from another location on disk. When partitioning a disk, the most common tools used are FDisk, Parted, and GDisk from a terminal. Using these tools requires elevated privileges and therefore should be run as root or with sudo. For this exercise, we are using a virtual environment with several different sized disks attached. Our focus will be using FDisk utility rather than parted or GDisk. Unlike FDisk, parted and GDisk does not get installed by default on an Oracle Linux minimal install. If you want to add those tools, you can type sudo dnf install parted GDisk. The other reason we plan to focus only on FDisk is the developers added GPT support in mid-2012 as part of a software update. Before that update, Parted or GDisk would have been required tools for working with GPT partition disks or disks greater than 2 terabyte in size. To get started with FDisk, let us print out a list of the disks attached to the system. In the terminal, type sudo fdisk-l pipe more. The output will display information regarding the disks along with the disk name. The primary boot disk for this system is slash dev slash sda, which has two partitions, slash dev slash sda1 and slash dev slash sda2. Slash dev slash sda1 is the boot partition and is designated by the column with the asterisk. To get the information only on a single disk, you can type sudo fdisk dash l slash dev slash sdc. The slash dev slash sdc disk does not contain a partition, so let us add one. To partition a disk, type sudo fdisk slash dev slash sdc. This command enters the fdisk utility and changes the prompt so the user can execute specific fdisk commands. For example, typing m will display the fdisk help menu. To create an MBR partition, type the following sequence of commands following each by typing enter. N for a new partition, P for a primary partition, 1 for the first primary partition, 
enter to accept the default first sector of this partition, plus 500 capital M to set the last sector using the size notation. Now that you have created your first partition, typing P will print the current partition table. The output also shows that we created a disk label type of DOS, which indicates an MBR partition table. To write or save this information to the disk and exit, type W. If you want to quit FDisk without saving your changes, then type Q. With the information saved to the disk, you can evaluate your choice of the file system, which we do not cover in this specific video. So the above exercise was using a small 5 GB disk. What happens if we select one that is over 2 TB? Type sudo fdisk slash dev slash sdd, which opens fdisk on a 3 TB disk. fdisk outputs the summary as it did before about the disk, but also prints a warning. The warning affirms the size of the disk and indicates that we cannot use a DOS partition table format. Since the disk is over 2 TB in size, we must use the GPT partition table format. To create the GPT partition, type the following sequence of commands, following each by typing enter. G for the new GPT partition table. N for a new partition. Notice that by using GPT, we can create up to 128 partitions on this disk. 1 for the first partition. Enter to accept the default first sector of this partition. Plus 500 capital M to set the last sector using the size notation. Now that you created the first partition, typing P will print the current partition table as done before. This time the output shows that we created a disk label type of GPT, which indicates a GPT partition table. Repeat each of these steps to create additional partitions or type W to write and quit. That completes our example and covers the basics of disk partitions and using FDisk. Have fun and thank you for watching this video.